Oh, and turning it over to Grill King Weber, Alan Ooh. Matula named the company's new CEO after Chris Scherzinger leaves the top job. And you're seeing really shares crash here in the early going. Uh, first of all, the company pulled its full year guidance, disappointing second quarter results. And of course, Chris Scherzinger, who, uh, who's been on with us uh, many times, uh, also uh, leaving the company as well. And the new CEO is in there for an interim basis. Weber says they are looking for a full-time CEO. The great shakeout within uh, big meat or big grill makers continues. We're, about a week and a half ago, Traeger, which is the primary competitor of Weber, announcing layoffs and restructuring efforts of their own. And here's, not, here's now a, a very, very disappointing quarter uh, by Weber, in large part because uh, of supply chain challenges. This has been impacting uh, Traeger uh, and now looks to be like the consumer spending slowdown also impacting both these companies. They also mentioned foreign currency devaluations impacting their reported results, of course, that being a theme of this broader earnings season that we've seen thus far, uh, they're also saying that the net sales performance affected by slower retail traffic as well. Post-COVID hangover. Mm. Uh, really, I, the grills were a great trade during COVID. We were all home buying grills. If you bought a grill over the past year and a half, you probably don't need another grill. <laughs> maybe mean, you do. Uh, maybe you don't. Two grills. You can all never have enough grills? No, that's not. it's not like Sonos players. Um, <laughs> you know, if you look at the chart of this... It's first of all, it seems like this was a surprise, mm -hmm. the departure of the CEO. Surprise. But if you look at this chart and you you look at it since the company came public, I mean, we've, we've talked at, at length about how the class of 2021 IPOs have not done well. Um, and this chart is no different if you go back to when it had its IPO. I mean, it's just so on the one hand, what I'm trying to say is on the one hand, it is surprising that he's stepping down. On the other hand, when you consider that this stock came public at $14 a share in August of 2021 and is now trading at what, seven? You know, one, of these name, one, of, one of these names are going to get acquired. Uh, Weber right. has a lot of strong, has a strong manufacturing footprint in the U.S. It's either a Traeger and Weber, they sit down and they, they join forces and, and come under one roof to get economies of scale, or somebody's going to step up, maybe a new El Rubbermaid, which is, uh, right. has, uh, has restructured its business under, under Ravi Sologram has that outdoor focus presence and that may want to make a play for Weber because these, these businesses are strong. These are two of the top names in grilling. I mean, they're not like uh, making Nikola trucks. I mean, these are legitimate brands mm -hmm. and legitimate companies. As long as they can create a grill that allows me to not burn anything, I think we're good to go. Yeah. But we'll see if they do combine. Trey Weber, we'll workshop it a little bit, see what name they come up with. We've seen some interesting ones over the past couple of weeks.